Hey, what is going on everyone? Today, I'm going to be teaching you how you can jailbreak 5.1.1 on the iPod Touch 4th generation, 3rd generation, the iPhone 3GS, the iPad 1, and other compatible devices. I'll have a list on the screen right now. And by the way, this method is not compatible with the iPad 3, iPad 2, and the iPhone 4S. So I'll have all the link in the description, uh, description below. You can go ahead and check that out. So uh, let's go ahead and start with it. All you need to do is go ahead and download Red Snow for a Mac or PC, the new version that is 0.9.10 B8, and also the iPod Touch or the IPSW of the device that you're going to be using, uh, the 5.1 IPSW. So uh, if you need to jailbreak any 5.1.1 device, you'll need the 5.1 itself. So uh, go ahead and open up Red Snow and. Uh, I'm going to be opening up right now and uh, go ahead into extras and select the custom IPSW and uh, go ahead and locate to the file. I have it on my desktop so I'm going to be going ahead and locating that. So it is successfully identified. So just go ahead, click on back and click on jailbreak. So the simple, uh, the step is really simple. It process the kernel and everything that it needs to do. And once that's done, it would go ahead and show you a simple screen uh, which would tell you that uh, three options. Uh, one, you can go ahead and install Syria. Make sure that it's ticked in if anything else or not. Uh, you can go ahead and enable battery percentage because that is a good idea on an iPod Touch to do so. And you can also go ahead and install cu uh, custom bundles. But if you know nothing about them, it's fine. Go ahead and click on next and put your iPod or any other device into the DFU mode. In order to do so, you can go ahead and press the button. Uh, home button and the power button itself for a long exposure of time until unless it shuts down and once it's off I'll go ahead and leave the power button and keep holding the home button until unless it uh, recognizes it in the DFU mode so it will go ahead and exploit it with LimeBrain and it will upload all the stages and once that is done you will see something on your iPod touch or any other device that you're using to jailbreak. So as you can see, uh, the jailbreak process has started. It is installing the jailbreak data on my iPod touch and we'll go ahead and uh, start all the coding process for the jailbreak, all the good stuff. So as you can see on the screen right now, it says it is a third jailbreak. So each and every time you need to reboot it, you'll need to uh, do it through Red Snow by a boot terror. So make sure that uh, you read this before you start. And once uh, that is done, everything will take place on the device itself. So I'm going to go ahead and by the magic of video editing, I'm going to go ahead and skip uh, to the part where everything else happens. So guys, uh, we are back and as you can see, it is already rebooting the device. And once that's done, uh, you'll find Cydia that is already installed. So let's go ahead and get it to reboot and we can slide it off. So as you can see it is already booted and we can go ahead and slide to power unlock and as you can see this is a Cydia icon but uh, there is no color and even if you click on it it won't open. So all you need to do right now is that uh, go ahead and shut down the device, power it off by clicking the power button and sliding it off and once that's done uh, go ahead and open up Red Snow again as this is a tether jailbreak and you'll need to boot tether it again and again. So just go ahead and click on just boot in the extras menu and uh, put it into DFU mode once again like we did in the start of the video. And once you do that, it will go ahead and uh, detect the device and upload all the stages that are required for boot tether. So as you can see, uh, this has already recognized the device and it's exploiting and uh, it will do its job. So once that's done, uh, you will see a pineapple logo and uh, if you see a pineapple logo, uh, it means that you are good to go, you have done everything successfully and you are completely jailbroken. So uh, once uh, the pineapple logo is done, uh, you'll find that uh, your iPod Touch or any other device that you are jailbreaking is already rebooted and uh, good to go. So let me wait for it to complete and uh, I'll be right back. So it has already rebooted and as you can see we can click on Syria and it totally works out. So you can select uh, who you are, user, hacker, developer, depending on what you are you're going to be using Syria for. So I'm going to be using for user and click on done and voila, you are already in Syria. So thanks for watching guys, uh, this is a really simple tutorial 
If you like this, be sure to hit the like button down below. And if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to the channel above. It really helps me out a lot. If you have any comments, be sure to leave in the comment section below. I'll be sure to answer that up. And thanks for watching, guys. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Peace.